Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing really wonderful and so we're going to be taking a look at what is currently happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well. Uh, we'll also be looking at the rainfall expected uh, as we head throughout majority of today and then that disturbance midway between the Windward Islands and the coast of Africa which is designated as Invest 95L and so uh, it has that possibility of developing and could there be something else to watch for? So we'll be taking a look at all of that in this update. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so let's start out with uh, the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so uh, here we can see on the satellite imagery that there is still some activity in the northwestern Caribbean. So there was a lot of thunderstorm near the Cayman Islands. Uh, let me know exactly what conditions were like for you. But uh, there was a lot of thunderstorm activity in the area, especially last night. Uh, but that is kind of uh, moving up north now, likely impacting Isle of Youth in Cuba. So uh, lots of activity over there, but things got much drier as we head to the rest of the region for most of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, heading to parts of Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, uh, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Lesser Antilles, including Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, and also the ABC Islands. So things are pretty dry and there is quite a bit of Saharan dust and all that dry air that has moved into the region. So uh, we're going to be taking a look at that as well. But going over into Central America, we can see that there is some activity across some spots. Nothing too crazy, though. And uh, as we're going to be heading through today, let's go on to what GFS has to show. So as the map becomes more colorful, more rainfall activity is expected. So most of the Caribbean remain in dry. Most of the islands are remaining pretty dry today. Again, all that dry air really helps to stabilize weather conditions out there and prevent the formation of a lot of activity. So all that action is going to be in the west, uh, in the vicinity of Central America, and also possibly for some spots in Colombia, Venezuela, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana. So most of the Caribbean islands have pretty low chance of rainfall. Nonetheless, there might be some brief showers here and there, but nothing crazy expected. Going on to Euro, we see something quite similar here, uh, where most of that activity remains over in the vicinity of Central America and also for parts of Northern South America, parts of Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname. So uh, this is what's going to be happening today, guys. But if you're in Central America and there is a lot of heavy rainfall, there is going to be that chance of... Uh, uh, flooding especially in those flood prone areas and so please do not take any unnecessary risks and now let's go ahead and move on to our disturbance so we're drifting out there in the main development region and our disturbance is, uh, is located right within this area here now a low pressure area has developed but that is interacting with a tropical wave that is further to the east and that is why we see so much activity out here and so uh, we're not seeing anything defined right now. And that is because of all the dry air in the region. However, things should get a bit more conducive as we head into the early part of the new week. And so let us move on to see what is going on on the Saharan earlier map. So let's look at the latest here and we can see that there is quite a bit of dry air out there. Most of that is to the north of the disturbance, but nonetheless still a problem for it. And uh, we see that it extends into the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Lesser Antilles, even down to the ABC Islands, being impacted by all this dry air, which is helping to stabilize conditions as I said earlier. But uh, going back to 95L, as we look at the 7-day outlook from NHC, we're seeing that the chance is now at 30%. Uh, it has slightly increased because it was at 20. Now, uh, as conditions remain favorable and as it actually gets itself together, the chance will continue to increase. And if it does, maybe by the next update at 7 a.m. or uh, this evening, then uh, it would be in that medium range for possible development. And so let's see what's going to be happening with it. But now we want to go ahead and take a look at the model intensity and track guidance and we'll also be looking at the runs for the GFS and Euro models. And so we are seeing here that as we're going to be heading uh, through this time frame here, so here we have the different forecast hours. So this is time and this is intensity that we're looking at, the wind speed in knots. And there we have that shaded green area. That is what represents tropical storm force winds as we head higher up. There we have cat one with that yellow, cat two with that orange, cat three with that red. And we stop right there for now. But there we have these different models. And so each of these different lines are different models 
storms and we can see that almost all of them expect this to become a tropical storm especially by uh, the next 84 hours so maybe sometime late on Tuesday we're seeing that most of these models are expecting it to become a tropical storm by then but as we head further out uh, uh, in time going to the next several days here we see that they gradually expect intensification some of which show a hurricane and that isn't impossible however I don't see that happening uh, as the system is going to be approaching the Lesser Antilles but uh, as of right now some of these members expecting a hurricane most of them agreeing on a, a tropical storm at the most So all of them expected that it will enter the region. Uh, there are variations in where exactly might be uh, directly impacted uh, because there we have some tracks that go more to the south, heading more to the Grenadines, St. Vincent. Meanwhile, others go further up north and into Dominica, Martinique. So uh, this isn't something that we're going to be solid on for now. However, if you're in the Lesser Antilles, heads up because it is likely that this will be bringing impacts even if it does not manage to become a tropical storm and named storm out there. It could still produce a lot of activity which can produce tropical storm-like conditions. And then finally, we are taking a look at what the models have to show. We'll be looking at the GFS and Euro runs. And so uh, we're starting out with GFS here. Now, as we see uh, these squiggly lines, they're called isobar come in closer together in a circular manner uh, that is indicating intensification and uh, the lower that value is that number is you see as well that is a sign of intensification and so there we have the forecast time and as we're going to be heading into uh, tomorrow we're not seeing much expected from this and eventually as we head into next week go into the middle of next week the system is expected to cross over the lesser Antilles into the Caribbean and to not become anything significant afterwards but the run before this was showing a crazy the scenario of something entering the Gulf becoming a hurricane and making landfall and that isn't completely off the table so uh, there are a lot of possibilities with this system here and uh, going to the end of this we even see that increase in moisture like an association with another tropical wave and uh, that isn't surprising to see because we're heading to the more active months and also with the run before this as well uh, the model was expecting that we could see some more development so let's go ahead and move on to what Euro has to show and Euro is is uh, expecting something similar here so as we head into tomorrow nothing crazy going on for this it is going to be struggling with all the dry air that is uh, very much dominant out there right now eventually making its way into the Caribbean maybe as a strong tropical wave and uh, bringing in impacts and then eventually making its way to the west and look at that other system behind it another wave uh, but that one looking to take on a more northwestward track as it intensifies so pretty interesting here what Euro has to show and uh, this isn't the first because uh, in previous updates on the ensemble map, we actually saw where members were expecting uh, something else uh, behind current 95L. So only time will tell what's going to be happening, guys. Uh, and there are many possibilities on the table. And by the way, this is the same list with a couple of replacement names that was used back in 2017. So the replacement, uh, the replacement names are Harold, Idalia, Margot, and Nigel uh, that replaced Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Nate respectively. So those names names uh, were retired and here we have the new names and by the way we're ahead of uh, 2017 right now because uh, Emily actually developed on the 30th of July and it seems as though if this 95L becomes Emily uh, then it would be ahead of 2017 and either way we are five named storms thus far because we've had a uh, Arlene, Brett, Cindy, and Dawn, as well as an unnamed storm back in January. And uh, actually in 2017, Dawn developed on the 17th of July, I believe. So we are a, a bit ahead of 2017, which was a hyperactive season. It produced 17 storms, 10 hurricanes, six major hurricanes, of which there were two Cat 5s. So I'm not saying that this season will be like 2017. However, things are much, uh, very much above average out there to support some crazy activity heading to the peak of the hurricane season but let's take it one day at a time i'm here to keep you guys updated on all that is happening so that you're never caught off guard and so that is pretty much it for this update video and i hope that you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise.